Hi everybody, welcome to Sook Vibes. In today's video, we are going to cover nine questions related to topic entering and approaching. It falls under the main topic of traffic behavior during driving maneuvers, observing the traffic. So basically, today we are going to cover how you should approach the traffic and how you should observe the traffic whenever you want to join the carriageway. So let's begin. I want to rejoin the road. What is the correct assessment of this situation? So what we see over here, you see a car which is in front of you and there is a red big vehicle and behind you there is also a truck and now you want to join this carriageway. So what are the things that you have to consider? The important thing is there is a high chance that your vehicle is concealed because of this yellow truck and because of this red vehicle which is a big one. So in this case when they approach me from the rear they means the other road users when they approach you from the rear from behind Drivers give my priority in rejoining the road. This is wrong. Drivers only see me late. Yes, drivers see you only late. Why? Because of this yellow truck. Your vehicle is concealed by this yellow truck. I only see vehicles late. This is also correct. Why is it so? Because of this red vehicle. And moreover, there is a car. Since your vehicle is concealed between two vehicles, there are higher chances that you see the vehicles late and also you are also seeing late by other drivers. So last two options are the correct ones. Our answer is correct. Moving towards the next. You want to leave a property lot and turn into a road while passing over a footpath. Now there is a property lot where you have parked the car and now you want to leave it. You want to turn into road and there is a footpath along this road. What must you look out for? Now before answering this question, let me show you one thing. There are certain rules, the legal requirements that you have to follow. Drivers who wish to enter the carriageway. Carriageway is the road. If you want to enter the carriageway, from a private drive, it's your property lot or your own house or your friend's house, whatever, it's a private area. From a pedestrian area, from a zone where traffic is limited to walking pace and pedestrians have priority, for example, traffic calming area, over a load curb. Load curb is, for example, here you can see the curb is lowered. Or for example, here you can also see, you see, curb is lowered one. Or from other parts of the road. You must wait and give way to other road users. For example, if there is a footpath, you have to allow this person to walk through. Only then you can join. And if there is a cyclist, you have to allow cyclist. And if there is a car in front of you, you have to allow car. Important thing to remember is if you are joining from these points, from these five areas, important are for your driving exam, this traffic calming zone or your parking areas or you are leaving some parking lots, for example, from the supermarkets, right? then you must have to wait and give way to other road users. And once you are sure that you are not causing any danger to other road users, only then you should join the carriageway. So in this case, first take note of the flowing traffic on the road. No, first you have to take care of the footpath. Pedestrians on the footpath may not be endangered. This is important. You should be directed by other person if necessary. Yes. So if you want to leave a property lot and turn into a road while passing over footpath, your main concern towards the pedestrians. I mean, this is not going to happen that you are going to be directed by another person, but after you have your driving license, of course, you should take help of another person if you're not able to see properly. Last two options are the correct ones. You want to turn out of a road with a sunken curb stone into another road. A car is coming from the left. What applies here? Let me just show you this picture again quickly. So if you want to leave this area, there's a curb stone, load curb stone, right? And if a car is coming from the left, what you have to do? The sunken curb stone is of no relevance for the obligation to wait. This is wrong. Whenever you are coming from a sunken curb stone, you have to pay attention towards left and right. Only then you can join the main road. Whosoever turns onto road over sunken curb stone must wait. Exactly. The rule right before left, no. So you have to observe right traffic, left traffic, once you are sure you are not causing danger to other road users, only then you are allowed to join the main road. So this question is of high relevance. For example, during exam, if your examiner takes you to the parking space and now you want to exit the parking space. Important thing is first you have to indicate. By indicating, you give clear indication to other road users in which direction you want to move. This is first point. Second is Whenever you're joining the moving traffic, make sure that you are not causing any danger to the moving traffic. You have to observe the traffic from the left and right side. Third thing is, 
you have to also take note of the traffic which is behind you. Just looking in the mirror is not enough. You have to also check the blind spot. Once you're sure you are not causing any danger to those who are behind you, who are in front of you, you have indicated, you have checked your blind spot, only then you can exit the parking space. You want to exit the property lot. What is the right thing to do? So here what we see, we are in the property lot and now you want to move towards the right side. And what we see, there is a footpath and there are the pedestrians who are walking on the footpath. So what you have to do, you have to wait and let the pedestrians cross. Or if the pedestrian have given the signal that you can cross, then you can cross. But you have to be sure that you are not causing any danger to the pedestrians. I sound my horn briefly so that pedestrian will allow me to exit. This is wrong. I have to wait until the pedestrians have crossed over the exit. This is correct. I may drive on if the pedestrian waved a right of way. This is also correct. So they have given hand signal. They have looked into your eyes, indicated that you are allowed to cross. Then you may try. Otherwise, you have to wait and let them cross. You want to leave a traffic calming zone and begin driving along a road. What should you do? So if you're leaving a traffic calming zone and driving along a road, what should you do? I have to allow pedestrians on the footpath to walk past exactly. So if you're leaving a traffic calming zone, remember pedestrians have the priority, right? So you have to allow pedestrians on the footpath to walk past. Observe the right before left rule. You have to look in the left and right direction in both directions. Indicate the direction of movement prior to taking the turn. This is important. You have to indicate the direction, look into your mirrors, do shoulder check. If there is a cyclist path, allow cyclists to cross through. If there is a pedestrian pass, allow the pedestrians to walk past. Only then you are allowed to move. By the way, this question is very important, as I said, for your driving exam as well. If the examiner has taken to your traffic calming zone and now you want to exit the traffic calming zone and want to join the main road, then you have to keep all these things in mind. Important thing is, you know, this thing that you have to indicate, you have to look into the mirrors, you have to do blind spot check, shoulder check, and you have to look in both directions. The traffic which is coming from right and left, they have the priority over you. What must you do when leaving the edge of the roadway? Check for the traffic from behind. Exactly. Switch on your direction indicator. Yes. A look into rear view mirror is sufficient. This is wrong. You have to also look for the blind spot. You want to leave a property lot and turn right into a road. Cyclists are approaching from the left. Who is required to wait? In this case, you are the one who is leaving a property lot. So you have to wait. You have to wait. You have to observe the traffic from both directions. Allow them to pass. Only then you are allowed to join. Once you are sure that you are not causing danger to other traffic users. Everyone is required to stop and then agree among one another who should proceed first wrong. Cyclists have to wait. No, you have to wait because you are the one who is leaving a property lot. You want to leave a traffic calming zone and begin driving along a road. Cyclists are approaching from the left who is required to wait. So this question is similar to the previous one. But in this case, you are leaving a traffic calming zone. In the previous question, you are leaving a property lot. In both the situations, you are the one who has to wait. So I have to wait. Cyclists have to wait. No, everyone is required to stop and then agree among one another who should proceed first. Wrong. You have to wait. So in this video, we have covered nine questions of entering and approaching. The important thing to remember over here is whenever you are leaving a property lot, traffic coming zone, sunken curbstone, or let us say a parking space, then you have to observe the traffic from both the directions. And if there is a pedestrian crossing or cyclist path that you want to cross, let the pedestrian walk past, let the cyclist pass. Only then you are allowed to join the main road. Thanks for watching. If you have liked my video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you're interested in any particular topic, please feel free to write in comment section. Take care. See you next time.